What's going on, people? It's your boy, The Black Glove, back again with some Black Ops 2, running the Scar H on the map Meltdown, Ground War 9v9, and uh, it would have been a flawless gameplay, but of course, my swarm kills me. It's the only death I had in the game, and I had to kind of chop the video up a little bit because there's periods of time where, you know, the swarm comes in, people leave the game, you know how it gets, then you run around for a while trying to find people to kill. You know, I think from now on, when I play this game, I'm really just not going to run Swarm or Dogs. I think I'm going to run other streaks, maybe less imposing streaks that, you know, don't force people to rage quit so much. That way I can at least run around and get some gun kills. But anyway, I'm not really going to rage about this game anymore. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to make videos screaming at Vonderhaar and, you know, acting like a fool over the game because in all honesty... Nothing ever really changes, and making angry videos and getting pissed off about it, it doesn't get results. I mean, I've seen people make well-made, well-planned and thought-out videos asking for certain issues to be fixed in Call of Duty games for years, and nothing ever happens. You know, I'm thinking back to an old Fisticuffs video that I saw a couple days ago, where he was talking about the potential for what's going to happen come Modern Warfare 2 in Call of Duty, and how the uh, how the community is going to evolve to be more influenced by kills and score streaks, well, kill streaks. And that prediction came true. You know, the way people play the game has changed over the years, and no matter what's in the game, whether it's head glitches, target finders, or whatever, people are going to use what they're going to use to try and you know get those kills. People care a lot more about stats, and there's a younger fan base playing the game than when COD 4 came out, so for the most part, it is what it is. So I'm not going to complain about the game anymore, I'm not going to make angry videos. If you see a Black Ops 2 video on my channel from now on, it's not going to be me bitching and moaning about the game. Because in all honesty, if you see a video up, it means that it's one of the games that I actually had fun playing when I played it. It's not one of the games I want to rage about that much. And as you can see right there, <laughs> I did get killed by my swarm. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, moving on from that, I want to tell you guys not to get caught up in what's popular out there. You know, just because something is popular doesn't always mean it's good. And this is something I follow a lot more as I've gotten older because, look, when something's popular, it draws attention. That's what it is. Popular YouTubers draw attention, popular clothes, popular music, popular food, whatever it is, it draws attention. You know, that's what popular that's what popular means. It means that a lot of people have interest in it. But that doesn't always mean that it's good. You know, I used to be a sneakerhead back in the day. I used to get new Jordans all the time. Fresh as kicks, and then after a while, I started saying to myself, Why am I dropping all this money, hard earned money? You know, I was working since I was young. I was working since I was like 14. Why am I dropping hard-earned money on things like Jordans when I could be saving up and getting better things that I enjoy more? Because back when I used to play ball, I wouldn't wear my nice kicks out to play ball. You know what I'm saying? It would be just to look nice in school, you know? But whatever. Moving on from that, it, it's just basically... You look around in different communities, whether it's music, YouTube specifically, YouTube is just... Popular on YouTube doesn't mean anything these days. You know, there are people who are popular on YouTube, some of which put in a lot of hard work and have great content, and then there's also popular people on YouTube who got there in ways that aren't necessarily positive, and they don't put that much effort into their content. Instead of putting out videos for their viewers, they put out videos that trend. You know, they follow the trends instead of setting them. And that's what I want to say about popularity. Just because something's popular doesn't mean it's good. I'm not naming names or, or calling anybody out in this video, but I'm trying to get you guys to open your mind and to see things a little bit differently. Especially you guys that make videos. You know, this is advice I need to take myself a lot of times too, but if you're a content creator out there or you want to be a content creator I mean everybody's got a YouTube channel now look in Black Ops 2 almost every lobby you get into somebody's got an emblem that says YouTube I do the same thing it's free advertising but everybody's got a channel now 
if you create content, don't always follow popular trends. Don't always try and copy popular people. There's nothing wrong with looking at people who put in hard work and seeing what they do right. But just because something is popular doesn't mean it's good. Try to be unique. Try to be original. Try and be a trendsetter. You know, be a leader and not a follower. And it definitely will pay off for you in the end. But anyway, guys, that's my video. Wrapping this one up. It's been your boy, The Black Love. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay, the commentary. And as always, come back, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Peace!